The public's response to Kamala Harris's remarks is likely to be sharply divided. Skeptics of Harris might argue that her administration doesn't take border security seriously, viewing her comments as hollow rhetoric. Conversely, her supporters may interpret her statement as an acknowledgement of the issue and a commitment to future action. However, without tangible steps that reflect these promises, such commitments may struggle to resonate deeply with a public that values authenticity and consistency in leadership. One other question about uh, something that you said in 2019 when you first ran, there was a debate, you raised your hand when asked whether or not uh, the border should be decriminalized. Do you still believe that? I believe there should be consequence. We have laws that have to be followed and enforced that address and deal with people who cross our border illegally, and there should be consequence. And let's be clear, in this race, I'm the only person who has prosecuted transnational criminal organizations who traffic in guns, drugs, and human beings. I'm the only person in this race who actually served a border state as attorney general to enforce our laws. And I would enforce our laws as president going forward. I recognize the problem. Harris's assertion that she would enforce border laws if elected president is likely to be met with skepticism, particularly given her current role as vice president. Many may perceive her as embodying a political contradiction recognizing the need for law enforcement while appearing to fall short in addressing it during her tenure. If her statements are seen as an attempt to gain political favor without substantial follow-through, it would align with the broader criticisms of the current administration's handling of border security. This gap between her words and actions could be viewed as a lack of genuine commitment to the rule of law, a principle that underpins core values for many Americans.